Dearly beloved, greetings in the name of Lord Jesus. This is a place called Manakudi in Kanyakumari, a place that was greatly affected by the tsunami. The people who stood on this bridge and watched the tsunami waves never thought it would be so dangerous. It washed away that bridge. Many people died in this region. But the Lord enabled these people to rise again and live well. Praise be to the Lord God. My dearly beloved, even in your life, those kinds of damages, losses and suffering may have taken place. Jesus Christ is a miraculous God who comforts you so that you don't drown in them. On this day, he looks at you and say one thing. In 2 Chronicles chapter 20 and verse 20, Believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. I don't have a sense of permanence in my life. I don't have a permanent job or an established business. I don't have a steady ministry. My life isn't settled. Nothing is permanent. I am being tossed around. Now one today, tomorrow another, it keeps changing. Are you saying this? Won't they say, I am not settled. I don't have my own house or income. I am not settled. Are you worried like so? What does the Lord say? Believe in the Lord your God and you will receive permanent blessings. You shall be established. Believe and trust Him. He will perform a miracle for you. One time when I was in Chennai, a young boy he seemed heartbroken when I met and spoke with him. You look sorrowful, you have some problem. You can tell me if you trust me and I will help however I can. He said I finished my vocational education and I thought that I would get a job if I did vocational training. I don't have a permanent job. Everything is temporary, that's all. They keep me for six or seven months and then ask me to leave. There is no permanence. I don't have my own house. I am unable to take care of my mother. I am very sad. Even now I have a temporary job. So there is no permanence in my life. I wonder why I have to live. My relatives are in big positions, in good companies. And if they want to, they can give me a good job. Everyone refuses to help me. Saying this, he stood with a lot of tears. I said, there is someone to help you. If you go to him, you will definitely get help. He asked, who is he? I told him, it's Jesus Christ. The one who created you died and rose again for you. You just need to tell him and he will give permanence in your life. He will give you a permanent job. He will set up a good life. And that young man listened to all that I said very carefully. Then what should I do? you should believe in him. It is sufficient if you believe that he is the God who died and rose again for you and give your life in his hands. It is enough if you surrender your defeat, disappointment and unsettled life into his hands. He agreed and prayed with me, committed his life and believed in Jesus. See, a miracle happened. The Lord immediately gave him a permanent job. He was so happy, he said, I never thought that such a way would open for me this quick, a permanent job. He came back after a few days and said they promoted me. They have given me a senior position, such great joy. Then he got married and had children. He had a family. So when he believed in the Lord, he set up a settled life for him. Not saying that we believe him just for namesake. Try giving your life in His hands, believing in Him wholeheartedly and the Lord will establish your life. So now, will you pray to the Lord? Dear Jesus, I believe in you. I put my trust in you. You suffered on the cross, died and rose again for me. I believe that you suffered so greatly to bless me. Believing in you, I am giving my life into your hands. Give me a settled and good life. In the name of Lord, Jesus, I pray, Amen, Amen.